Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Good evening. I am doing evening. well. How about you? Good, good. Welcome to the session of English, Yavi. It's so as we are meeting for the very first time. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Kanchi Madan, and I have been into this profession since last four plus years. I've trained approximately five thousand plus kids and adults both for the spoken English course. And today, uh, right here, right now, I am doing the same in front of you. First of all, I would like to ask you, how were you, and uh, how was your day? My day was uh, as usual, actually, because uh, the weekdays I go to office, and whole day I spent office working my duty, and then I come back. So it was like any other day in weekdays. A usual day, a normal day, which you are living normal on a daily day. basis, right? Okay. Yes, yes. So, uh, sir, I would like to ask you that how is your experience with English, Yari? Like you have already completed more than fifty sessions with us. What do you think about the platform? How far have you, you know, learned with us? And what are the things like? I just want to know from you. I found that it was very, ex, uh, very good, and mm -hmm. they are very friendly while uh, teaching the students, the learners. So now I have experienced. a very good environment while speaking with the tutors and that's mm -hmm. how i gradually gain confidence and now i'm taking classes without any fear with the tutors <laughs> all right so sir it's absolutely fine you don't have to fear about anything if you think the platform is good then you must continue and uh, i think every tutor here right now if i know it that everyone is amazing everyone you know have completed their master yeah. they're doing an amazing yes. job they're certified in their own fields and uh, yeah so i think it's completely your choice and you get so many tutors you can learn from and uh, you can learn from the best ones too so sir what are the points you feel like you are lacking in like where is the part you feel like you're finding difficulty to communicate in english like we ourselves also get to know that yes this is the part we are actually lacking in so if i'll get to know that part from your mouth i'll be able to you know i'll help you more in that okay so main thing is that the issue is pronunciation i know that uh, there is an issue so one thing is pronunciation and other thing uh like that if i am given a topic so sometimes mm -hmm. i cannot elaborate it properly and this is mm -hmm. maybe due to lack of knowledge also it is not mm -hmm. that um, i cannot speak but mm -hmm. sometimes it also happen that i am speaking about some incident that happened in the past but while in the flow i just mixed with past present all these things mm -hmm. okay so no worries we are here to you know guide you and uh, if if you know someone is practicing on a daily basis they definitely improve because if you are taking classes from so long somewhere or the other you have also realized that yes i have improved a bit maybe 1% 2% 10% or 50% also but you have improved a bit and rest is obviously the way you said that you are not able to give that much time to yourself or to rectify your errors like the teachers are you know telling you the errors where are you actually making mistake so yeah. i think you should take out time for that because you are sparing your half an hour of the day here so why not 15 20 minutes more if it is going to help you all yeah. right so if you are okay uh, then can we start with the discussion on today's topic that is school library okay Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sir, I just uh, want to ask you a very basic question: That do you like reading books? Yes, I have uh, started reading books for the purpose of learning uh, the spoken English, so to familiar me with some new words. To get, I did not have to get familiar with new words. So I did not have this habit. I recently I have developed this habit, and now. on a regular basis you can say that at least 3 4 pages i every day i read only for mm -hmm. this purpose okay i think it's a very good habit because when you read 
from the books you get to know a lot of things which you actually don't know you gain a lot of knowledge you get to you know learn so much of new words which you you know you have actually not even heard of ever so you get to learn so much which we actually don't do in our daily life because i think everyone is busy in their cell phones these days and people don't read books yeah. usually so i think this is a very good habit and uh, okay who which is your favorite book like what which book are you reading right now or what is your favorite book which is your favorite book or favorite author uh i cannot pinpoint a particular author that he is my favorite i like to read self help books so there are so many authors uh i read the, uh, their books um particularly the self help books and right now i am reading a book that is uh, titled as energize your mind mm -hmm. okay uh, so sir in your school uh, i don't know at that time when you were in school libraries were there or not were they no i don't remember that there was a library no i think there was no library at that time <laughs> yeah this is that is why sir and uh, in your uh, college life college life you must be having yeah, a library yeah yeah yes 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 it was there so like have you ever gone there and thought of you know reading books sometimes we, uh, we get to we get that library card and we can issue the books from there so sometimes we can issue comic books also or whatever we want we can issue from there so have you ever issued any book from college in your college time yeah once or twice not many actually at that time i was not very much uh, enthusiastic in reading so mm -hmm. when it comes to comics yeah if comics were available then i must have taken uh, some mm -hmm. books from the library to read but when it comes to take uh books for the purpose of study i don't remember that i took any book <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't want to study in your college or in your school also in school also i was not very good at my studies that's why <laughs> i always try to avoid <laughs> so what did your parents said uh, didn't they scold you for that yeah yeah i got scolding beating <laughs> so many things happened but still i could not i i was a kind of incorrigible person but later when i yeah at the later part of my college life then i uh, it came to my sense that i should have read properly i should have studied and mm -hmm. at that time i started gradually uh, to study and even after joining this job also i studied studied means that there are some examination held in our office for mm -hmm. your improvement in your career uh, so i had to study and in those days uh, i studied properly actually <laughs> all right so i think uh, every there are you know many children who don't want to study and it depends on person to person it depends on our interest also so you were not into study so what was your interest actually into like any other sport or any other activity like drawing painting or you know singing dance any other thing only uh, i like to play games be it football cricket or any other athletics Mm -hmm. I I just wanted to play with the boys that I had around our neighborhood, so this much only I had interest. Mm -hmm. And these days we have television with us. These days we are not into so much books, and these days cell phones are there. So what do you think that which is more superior, books or television? I think books. And why so? books um, you can uh, carry with, with you and uh, start reading anywhere you can go to mm -hmm. a quiet place and uh, you can concert, concentrate properly while reading but when you are before a television suppose you are not liking the place to sit and you cannot move it and you have to be there even though you may not like it so book mm -hmm. is a very good friend of all of us 
whenever we go, suppose we go on a travel trip and we are traveling on a train or on a bus, we can spend our time reading some good books also. Mm -hmm. So I think books are a key tool for improving your literacy also, as you told that you're reading books for, you know, improving your spoken English skills. So it improves your literacy part, your knowledge part, and it regularly helps to develop your language skills, your vocabulary, which is very, very, very important. I must say that without vocabulary, we cannot do anything. So it helps to improve your vocabulary also and comprehension part and you know that is very essential in our academic as well as our professional life also uh, yeah. but uh, i think television has its own advantages also can you just uh, name some of the advantages which television has yeah we can get the knowledge from television also and the main advantage is this you get the visual uh, so when you see something it always uh, easy to remember because when we read a book, it may not be so easy to remember. But when we see something, it gets uh, into our mind and we remember easily. That is the main advantage, I think, when it comes to television. Mm -hmm. You know, when we watch television, we it has its own advantages, such as instant gratification and visual you know, stimulation. You said it exactly correct. Then when that when we see something, we remember that. Suppose that movies. When we watch movies, we remember that what happened. But if instead of that, we have, you know, read a book and that whole movie script is written in that book, nobody would be interested to watch. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes. That these days, you know, uh, such small, small children are using cell phones or smartphones or tabs, laptops, everything. So, um, when, you know, mothers are feeding them, when they're giving them food also, then they want yeah. phone in their hand and then mam mamas are feeding them. So don't yeah. you think there is a bad habit? Like from their childhood only, they are being given the phone that, you know, take this, be quiet, don't disturb and have your food. Yeah. Yes. Just, so don't just, you think uh, this is bad habit? Bad habit, bad habit, definitely. Because uh, the parents are sucking their responsibilities and they want to get it easy. So they think that if I give this cell phone to the child, so she may take the food or she may keep quiet for some time and the parents may do their beats. So this is what happening everywhere. Whenever I see uh, the people that I know, if I go to their place, at their home, this is the common uh, scene. Even in our mm -hmm. relatives also, a few days back, one of my brother's brother-in-law came and with, their, with his family and the child is always with the uh, cell phone because they have made it a habit uh, so the child is always after this cell phone and they cannot mm -hmm. say no to her now because if they say no then she will throw them and cry yeah yeah exactly because they are habitual to that thing and they're not going to leave that phone now as we yeah. are addicted, they they are also addicted from their childhood only because of that. We parents. are knowing, you see, we are adults and we know how harm it is uh, if we continually harmful it watch is. this. Harmful it is if we continually uh, watch this, continue to watch this. Still, we are knowing this. We cannot leave it. And mm -hmm. what about the children? They don't know the harmful effect of this, but so they are so addicted. Yes, they are actually addicted to the cell phones and even the adults are actually these days. So I think uh, the major reason is parents are living in a nuclear family. They're not living in joint families and there is nobody to take care of. Mothers have to, you know, uh, they are also having their work from home or they also went, go to office and the fathers also have to go to office. So when they come back, either they have to leave the kids on their maids or when they come back, they just give them their phone and the children are just keeping quiet. And at that time, they can finish all their all their household work. So I think nuclear mm -hmm. family is one of the major reasons because earlier people used to have their grandparents or in-laws, you know, they were staying with them. And they used to take care of their grandchildren. But these days, I think everybody is living alone majorly. People are living alone. Some, you know, some want to live alone and some are living alone because of their uh, jobs or other things. 
so i think this is the major reason what what do you think about this ah uh, it's the sad part of our uh, life i think then when the parents grow old they should be with their children and the children um, now they are grown up they should take care of their parents and if it sometimes yeah under compulsion they cannot take care of them because of the job they have to go outside uh, from out of station but in some cases even though they can take care of their parents they are not taking care of they place their parents to uh, old uh, what is called old home uh, old age homes old age home so this is not good this is not fair this is a very pathetic part of our life because i also feel like you know those parents or those grandparents who have kept us when we were this small they were taking care of everything from our food to everything what we needed and now when they need us we are just leaving them why because of mm. our job but i think they also have their jobs to do at that time but they left everything for us for taking care of us so i think these are the major reasons uh, of uh, why uh, this scenario is coming in front of us because of the nuclear family so yeah, i think that was a deep discussion with you today <laughs> and uh, yeah it was so good to talk to you and share some thoughts so i would like to ask you sir before i would say anything i just want to ask you how did you find today's session oh it was a very good session you explain things so well and you ask some valuable questions so yeah, it was good and it is palpable that when i took the session it's a, it was a nice session all right okay thank you so much so sir i think we need to work on a few points is that uh, you were skipping some words in between like is am um, are these are the words which you were skipping uh, like you said a sentence that uh, everything is uh, their fingertips you said something like that for children that everything is at their fingertips this was the correct sentence which you should have spoken so i think the correct usage of those helping words is am um, was were is really important to build a proper sentence or to frame a proper sentence and i think the pronunciation of few words which you said wrong which i had corrected in between uh, i think we need to focus more on that otherwise uh, uh, your thoughts were good the way you shared the things were good but i think uh, more of it could be done like you should you could have shared more points and uh, because you know what happens in these sessions is we have to speak less and you have to speak more mm, yeah. and this is how i will be able to tell you that where are you actually lacking and where i have to work upon on like what part we will work upon together So it's yes. like the more you will speak, the more you will enhance your skills. Yes. It's simple. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it was really good, and yeah, that's it from my side. Okay. Yeah. So. So, uh, hmm. so for today, we are uh, wrapping up our session here. Yeah. So have a good night. Yeah good night sir Bye. take care have a good sleep and i hope i'm going to see you soon again yes sure thank you very much all, all right bye bye, -bye.